I ended up bending a Saracen and uh, into absolute bits. Like, oh Whoa! shit! Like pedals, cranks, bottom bracket, head tube bent off it. Absolutely wrote the thing off. And I, I had bought that from Alpine Bikes as well. And I remember, you remember, we went back and the guy's looking at me like, what on earth did you do to this? I've never seen this before. Showed him the video and he was just kind of laughing and he was like, well... I've tried and get your warranty claim, but I'm not not open for them. I'm not open for much here. And I remember stood next to them on the phone. He said, "Oh, what, what did the guy do?" It. He said, "Oh, he just kind of jumped off like a like a three foot wall outside the shop. It was actually came down from about twenty five feet to just like this this triangle. You know, put the bike right on top of it and just bent the wheels. Absolutely destroyed the thing. So, Ruri had gotten a team for the next again year or a new bike. I can't really remember how it worked, but his bike from that year from the previous year's racing was sat there not doing much so you know my dad had helped him out a few times he'd helped him he obviously seen seen what we're trying to do so he went you know what just have my bike so i ended up turning up to this first sd after only racing three mini downhills you know this full motocross kid came out of nowhere friends with nobody and then turned up with this 9.9 .9 trek session like the best of the best so i, I can imagine everybody's looking at me going what the <laughs> What is going on here? And this is during like Gwen era as well. Yeah, this yeah, is this 2012, is, yeah. like prime Gwen era. Yeah. Like the Trek was the bike to be Trek on. Trek was the bike to have. It was the most expensive, the coolest looking. Like it was the tits.